the five worst states for drivers are really ones where drivers are spending a lot of time behind the wheel and congestion, uh, their average commute times are long, road, poor roads and bridges, and then uh, it's pretty expensive to operate a car. We looked at 50 states and we wanted to determine what kind of driving experience individuals who live there have. And we looked at four main factors when we constructed our rankings. We weighted cost really as the most important factor when determining whether a state is the best for drivers or the worst. And I think a lot of the reason why here is because if you can't afford gasoline, if you can't afford your auto insurance premium, uh, you really can't afford to operate a car. We found that Colorado was the fifth worst state for drivers, mainly because they're spending a lot of money to fill up their uh, gas tanks. They're spending a lot of money on car repairs. They also have a pretty poor driving experience with a pretty high percentage of the roads and bridges in poor condition. Number four, our fourth worst state for drivers was Rhode Island. Um, and I think anyone who really lives in the Northeast here isn't probably surprised. They're experiencing longer commute times. It's a lot of congestion. It's a pretty expensive state. And then what's interesting about Rhode Island is that they had the highest percentage of roads and bridges in poor condition. So not only are these drivers spending a lot of money and a lot of time behind the wheel, but they're not having a very uh, high quality driving experience while they're while they are operating their car overall. The third worst state for drivers is Maryland. And I think anyone who spends time on the belt uh, in the DMV really understands this experience here. The drivers are spending a lot of time in their commutes. Uh, they have the second longest average commute time in the state. Um, it's a third worst for driving quality overall. I think um, Maryland really illustrates here what we've known all along for drivers, and that is these densely populated states where there are so many people moving to and from a location that doesn't really add up to really create a good driving experience. And then when it comes to the second worst state for drivers, we found that Louisiana was up there. And a lot of that was to do with cost. So these drivers are paying a lot of money, uh, the highest in the country, uh, in fact, for auto insurance premiums. The average auto insurance premium is about 1.7 times the national average in this state. So it's uh, very expensive for drivers. Rounding out the bottom spot here, we found that California was the worst state for drivers. And that's really for a number of factors. Uh, very expensive, highest gasoline prices, highest uh, average cost of a car repair. Um, California's, uh, Californians, the, the average time that they spend uh, behind the wheel outnumbers the national average by about four to one. So it's a pretty lengthy commute, it's a pretty expensive commute, and uh, I think what's also really weighing on California here is that it doesn't really fare very well for safety because it clocked the most DUI arrests of any state per year. But I think what's interesting is that weather, uh, weather in California was beautiful, fourth best in the country. I think what this illustrates is the trade-offs where there's really no perfect location, but it really depends on what you want out of your commute. Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.